Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 3, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So, we are back with another review for Episode 3, this time titled Man of Steel. This episode has little to none of Kara or Supergirl, or any of the other supporting main characters in Supergirl. So, this episode really, really works. It is by far my favourite of the season, perhaps one of my favourite episodes in quite a long time in recent Supergirl history that I can remember since maybe the Argo City episodes. This episode is about Agent Liberty and we get an outstanding performance from Sam Witwer taking over about 95% of the episode. He carries this, he does an outstanding job, I'm really looking forward to more of Sam Witwer in this series because he is an outstanding actor, he is able to hold up this whole episode basically by himself with the help of a few other new supporting characters and it does an amazing job of bringing to life Agent Liberty and the backstory because this is unlike anything we've really done, this is a full episode dedicated to a villain we're going to be seeing. We understand that anger that you can see by the end of the episode and what we've seen, why he is killing these aliens and this episode is extremely well written, it has been crafted in a way with the writers thinking okay so we don't have Kara, we don't don't have Supergirl because Melissa's on Broadway right now because they filmed this episode first if you didn't know. So they had to have a really strong reason for them to actually have an episode centered around this one character and you must have that amazing performance that Sam Witwer does deliver. I feel like the writing on the past two episodes have been weak and the reason why I think this episode has benefited from Melissa not being around is because they had to sit down, think of a strong reason as to why they should take their time and make this episode really really good and really work so I feel like that was a great thing that Melissa wasn't around because it gave them an excuse to actually sit down think about what they're doing and I'm talking about the writers here so they did an excellent job and it really really paid off this is one of my favorite episodes I would give it a five stars out of five last few weeks I've given it three stars you can check out my ratings on Rotten Tomatoes so essentially the backstory of Agent Liberty is told over the course of all the seasons it's told through flashbacks throughout this episode. So we begin with the season one finale speech and then we get various scenes of him and his father and various things around his way of life and he's a teacher, he teaches people and that is sort of where his preachy aspect of his character came from in those last few episodes because he's a teacher. We didn't know that before but with his backstory being built upon we understand that he can speak to people. Then we move on to the Daxamites and we see Rhea who is actually on the television if you remember back to season two. That was a broadcast that she put out saying that we're here to take over the earth basically and you see the Daxamite ships and we see Jean fighting one of the Daxamite soldiers so it's really great to see the Daxamites back. That was just like a little bit in the episode that I was like yes I really like this because it's just a nice little homage and callback to the season's past and I love it when they do that. Then we went on further to Rain's terraforming from last season. We get various shots of Allura, Monel, and everyone fighting in that final battle, which was very, very exciting to see, like, even just the back of them or the CGI versions of themselves fighting in the sky. It was really satisfactory seeing them return because obviously we're not probably going to see Monel or Allura or anyone else this season because they are staying more grounded. But it really works that sequence of how they play with time and how this once nice man who is now fueled by anger with the impact of aliens over his family and you are able to see both sides and the reasoning behind this villain of why he's so full of anger and he's able to kill these aliens rather than the last few episodes when it's just been preachy writing and it didn't gel him right this episode the way it's written really really works because you understand the meaning and it's not just an actor spilling out lines it feels legitimate. It feels like these characters are real people. 
And so, like I mentioned earlier, there is little of any of the other characters. We get a few scenes with Alex, Alex with her long hair, that was nice to see again. Jean fighting, like I mentioned, and then later in the episode, we go back to present day. It's a very small scene, but you see the ending with Supergirl on the edge of death. She has done nothing this entire episode. She's lying down, and now she's in isolation, helped by Lena Luthor. And so she's going to be in that isolated suit without a single cell exposed to the outside world because the atmosphere is full of kryptonite. Just finishing this review, I want to mention one scene that was really impactful and that was the scene where the Daxamite soldier was fighting Jean and you see the family and how they fear these aliens because they are something greater. Like we've seen in many superhero films like Man of Steel when everyone fears Superman and it's portrayed in such a great way that you see them destroy their homes and you feel for the characters because you can relate to that. If someone destroyed your home, if an alien from outer space crashed into your house, you would be fearful. And then Jean says, you're safe now, and the house bursts into flames. And obviously I don't agree with the statements they're making, but you can feel for these characters and the way it's written is really well put together in that you really feel like these aliens do cause these humans massive amounts of fear because they are able to destroy the home in an instant and hurt them in an instant, even if it's not on purpose. So. What an amazing episode. Like I said, I do agree with everything that the Supergirl writers have been writing and have been talking about in terms of what they were doing with the preachy speeches, but I just didn't think it gelled well together and this episode shows the other side and it really works. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Service like sharp pretty teeth.